Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we're going to explore the idea about traveling stylishly only with one bag. So packing for travel can already be challenging enough, but if you're an enthusiast of classic menswear, it's even harder. Due to all the varied and intricate parts of our wardrobe, packing is challenging enough and it can be hard to pick the right pieces and it leads to overpacking quite often. Oftentimes, we menswear enthusiasts pack extra items just in case that never end up being used. And yes, we're speaking from personal experience here. So how can you pack light and still look good and do it all in accordance with TSA's recommendations? Now, if you're used to traveling with several different pieces of luggage, you might be wondering, why should you only travel with one bag? We could just wrap it up quickly by saying, it really just makes your life easier. That's it. That's this episode of Gentleman's Gazette. See ya. Okay, okay, all jokes aside, there are serious benefits though to taking all your luggage and containing it in just one suitcase. The first is that most airlines make you pay for a large check bag, but you're typically allowed to take a carry-on piece of luggage as well as a personal bag. So not only will you save money, but you'll also be able to keep everything together and keep the airline from losing your luggage. This can also add to the enjoyment of your travels as you have less things to remember and keep a hold of. I don't know about you, but I certainly don't need to have an inventory list when I travel. Saying I have it all in my suitcase is certainly a lot easier than saying are my bags all here. Something that many travelers complain about is the price of snacks and beverages while traveling, which leads many people to stuffing their bags full of food, but your bags really should be for your clothing items and not for your mid-trip buffet. Plus, there's always options to get food or drinks on the flight anyway. And traveling light makes you a lot more mobile on your trip, allowing you to do various things without having a bunch of cumbersome luggage. It will certainly be easier pulling one suitcase across the cobblestone streets of Italy than five. The real key to success when it comes to traveling light is to make your travel outfit count. Now, it should come as no surprise that we are firmly against wearing athletic wear at the airport. But you kind of got that from the channel name, right? Therefore, you really want to make sure that you're wearing excellent clothes to wear on the flight in addition to what you carry in your bag. When it comes to our recommendations, we would recommend starting with a really great suit. As a general note here, all of the suggestions in today's video can relate to any weight of clothing, depending on the season or the weather that you're traveling to. And if you're stuck for any ideas, take a look at our videos on seasonal style. Start off by choosing a versatile suit. Gray and navy are gonna be your best options as they'll look great for business attire, as well as something to wear by the bar at cocktail hour. But if you're looking for something more interesting, pick a classic Prince of Wales check suit as it's a little bit more unique than what most people will see. If you choose one in a classic menswear color, the pattern will match a wide variety of things that you're gonna be able to wear. A well-fitting suit is an excellent choice of something to travel in, as Raphael often does. Raphael often mentions that he gets treated a lot better when he dresses up at the airport, and if you're worried about that suit jacket while you're in your airplane seat thinking, man, that's gonna be really uncomfortable, you can give it to a stewardess and they will put it away for you up front with other jackets. One thing to note here is to take a suit with a material that can be broken apart into a jacket or trouser separates. I wouldn't recommend taking a shiny, very fine business suit. I'd recommend a flannel, an open weave wool, a fresco, something that you can use the jacket and the trousers separately. My personal favorite is taking a navy blue plain weave because you can use the navy blue jacket as a blue jacket or the blue trousers as blue trousers. We also recommend that you wear your formal shoes. They're often more bulky to pack and therefore you should wear them and you'll free up more room in your luggage. Picking a pair of black oxfords is the obvious choice, but if black isn't your thing, you can substitute these for dark brown or a burgundy or ox blood color. And if you don't like the idea of having to unlace your shoes or you don't have TSA pre-check, wear a pair of nice loafers. Whatever style you choose, make sure to take a travel shoehorn with you so you don't damage them, putting them on and taking them off. Also, add classic accessories. No matter where you go, wearing things like a classic wristwatch or a white pocket square are always a great touch to your outfit. We also recommend that you pack, not wear, your cufflinks. As you might imagine, metal cufflinks and the security machines at an airport don't really mix well. The same can be said for metal collar stays. We would recommend you take these out of your shirt and put them in your bag. So choosing a shirt like a Oxford cloth button down is a great choice as the collar is soft, it's comfortable, and you don't have to worry about the collar not being starched and pressed sharply. We also recommend that you wear, not pack your overcoat. So whether it's a heavy overcoat or a light trench, this is something that'll take up a lot of room in your bag. So we recommend you wearing it. And if you're worried that you're gonna get too hot, you can always take it off and give it to a stewardess. But if you get too cold, you can use it as a blanket on the airplane. 
So now that we've built your perfect travel outfit, let's put it all together and put some of this in a suitcase. So in this section, we'll be looking at packing a bag that is carry-on size or smaller. And while we're looking at a carry-on bag, if your trip is even shorter, maybe a 24-hour trip, just adjust your bag and your items accordingly. We also recommend packing a jacket and trousers. You wanna choose a jacket that will work with the other trousers, the trousers from your suit, as well as these, and a jacket that will work with your suit trousers, as well as the trousers that you bring with it. A jacket in browns and greens is a great color choice here, as it will go with the blue from your suit, or if you choose a gray suit, it'll go with those as well, as well as the brown or cream of the trousers. So with that being said, it's very hard to go wrong with picking a classic pair of khaki chinos as this trouser pick. Fold the jacket using the inside out shoulder method and wrap the trousers around it to reduce the amount of fold lines and creases in them. Packing this way will protect both garments individually, and it means you don't have to worry about bringing bulky or heavy clothing hangers with you. So at this point, you have one great versatile suit, one jacket, and one trouser. This gives you six combinations. Next up, pack a spare set of shoes. Give some contrast to what you're currently wearing. So if you have a pair of smart Oxfords, maybe pick a suede loafer. Use your socks and underwear as makeshift shoe trees and shove them inside of your shoes. And if you wear belts, pack a belt that will match these shoes as well. You can even roll up the belt and put it inside the collar of your shirt to help the shirt collar keep its shape. And if you wear suspenders, you don't have to worry about packing multiple pairs that match as you're less likely to see them because you'll have your jacket over them. But hey, don't let Preston Gecko hear you say that. Next up, pack a fresh shirt for each day of the trip. The shirts will give you more of an opportunity to create more unique combinations than packing more suits and more jackets. While it might be tempting to do a Don Draper and pack your bag full of white shirts, don't be afraid to add a little bit more variety. After all, variety is the spice of life. And if you stick with subtle patterns or simple colors, outfit creation will be a breeze. This shirt packing tip is also the case for longer trips as it's good to have a fresh shirt for every day. And ensure you fold your shirts neatly so you reduce the chance of having to iron them when you arrive. Next, pack a merino wool sweater or a cardigan. Merino wool travels well as it's naturally elastic and it doesn't wrinkle easily. It's also lightweight but warm, which is a great option. Choose a v-neck style or a cardigan style as you can use it with a bunch of different options and you can wear it under your jacket. Also make sure to choose it in a solid color, no crazy stripes or checks. You wanna have something that you can wear with a lot of different outfits. Next, pack two ties and two pocket squares. Although accessories can be a small item, they really add up. I mean, look at how many Raphael has. So if you limit yourself to a few ties and pocket squares, you will have what you really need. And if you pick ones that are versatile, they'll go with all the outfits and combinations that you can put together. Focus on more robust types like knit ties or wool pocket squares as these travel and wear well. And while you're looking at accessories, if you're someone who likes to wear French cuff shirts, throw a pair of cufflinks in your bag. And if you choose a classic design like a monkey's fist knot, it'll go well with every occasion. For longer trips, you're gonna want a larger case. So we're gonna now focus on packing your bag up to and including check-in size. As the saying goes, often the simplest solution is best, so transfer all of your items from your carry-on over to your check bag. So these next items are gonna build upon the previous list we've already established. Here, you can add an extra suit. This suit should still be versatile, so if you brought a navy, maybe bring your gray and vice versa. I would still recommend packing a suit that makes sense to where you're going, so if you're going to Miami, don't pack flannel in the middle of July. Also, try to pick a material that can be broken apart, such as a high twist wool. Don't choose a shiny business suit unless you have a very formal event to go to. Also, keep in mind that you have the opportunity here to bring in different details like a double-breasted suit. So, if you keep things versatile and interchangeable, now you have nine different combinations. Packing a waistcoat in a neutral color is also a great choice, and if it works with all the other parts of your wardrobe, now you have 18 combinations. We also recommend adding another pair of shoes. Really, any shoe from our list of essential shoes would be a great choice here. This is also an opportunity to bring in more details like broguing or a monk strap. And unless you need to really economize on space or weight, adding a pair of travel shoe trees are good here. Then you'll have one pair that you can rotate through all the shoes you brought. It's a good choice here to add maybe another tie or a few more pocket squares or even a boutonniere. You also could consider other options such as an ascot to add a little bit of variety to all of your outfits. So with all your packing lists now sorted, let's turn our attention to some expert level packing tips. This way you have the most enjoyable and stylish time on your trip. An extra pair of shoelaces are the best few dollars that you'll ever spend. I mean, after all, you never know, you could be halfway around the world and a nice pair of shoelaces and your shoes break. 
if you keep an extra spare set, they're virtually weightless and take up no space, and it's good to have in case of a style emergency. Also, reduce the size of things wherever possible. Even if you have a lovely, beautiful umbrella, taking a full-size one that takes up the entire width of your suitcase is not a great choice. Choose a telescoping umbrella instead or a small travel size one. Also, if you can, pack an emergency bag. And no, we're not talking about a medical kit here. It's nice to have another small bag, such as a mesh one or maybe a small canvas tote that you can bring things home in if you end up buying more on your trip. Also allow for weather changes. Even in the 21st century, weather forecasts aren't 100% accurate. So if you wanna bring a pair of rubber galoshes, it's a great choice. Here's another packing key, take minimal toiletries. Oftentimes toiletries are provided at many hotels and you don't have to bring a full bottle of shampoo. There will often be options for you. This is also a great opportunity to use small fragrance samples rather than taking the entire bottle. Also, make sure that you can fit your traveling or airport outfit into your suitcase as well. You don't wanna pack your suitcase completely full and then on your way back, want to ditch the overcoat and put the overcoat in your bag and it doesn't fit. Finally, you should consider things like packing cubes. They can be very useful in keeping different elements of your suitcase separate. And there are versions where you can vacuum seal them so you get more room available to you in your case. So when it's all said and done, packing light and looking good certainly can go together hand in hand. And hopefully we've shown that it's very achievable. By the way, don't feel like you have to stick to the one bag rule if you're gonna go on a two or three week vacation. Don't be like me when Raphael and I went to Europe last summer. It's certainly worth paying a little bit extra to have more clothes at your disposal. This video was inspired a little bit by Raphael and Maya's travels to Europe last summer. We visited Jack across the pond and went to Italy and Portugal to visit some of our makers. And as we went to baggage claim in Manchester airport, Raphael picked up his bag and he asked, well, where's yours? And I said, I have it. It was just my carry-on as well as my computer bag. Raphael was pretty shocked that I could pack basically two weeks of clothes for a trip to Europe into one small carry-on bag, but I'm also a notoriously light packer. I wore one blue sports jacket with a pair of chinos. I packed an extra sports jacket with two other pairs of odd trousers and packed four shirts. I also packed two pairs of unlined loafers as they're easy to compress and fit into the shoe compartment of my bag. They're also very easy to get through the airport in if you have to take them off. Technically, I broke our shirt rule. We were gone for 14 days and I took five shirts, but I also knew that we would have laundry at our disposal. So it also helps to know where you're going and where you're gonna stay. But hey, you don't have to be like me. You can certainly bring more clothes and more variety. This is just a little personal anecdote. Which one of our packing trips will you use on your next trip? Let us know down in the comments below. In today's video, I'm wearing an outfit that you would find me in on our trip to Europe this coming summer. I really just need to add a sports jacket and I'm really good to go for a variety of different occasions. I'm wearing a denim shirt, which is a nice casual option. It bridges the gap between very dressed up, like a starch white shirt and a more casual polo shirt. It can dress down a suit or a more formal sports jacket, as well as dress up a more casual outfit. I'm wearing a pair of cream cotton trousers. These are very comfortable for the airport and for travel. These are made to measure by Calaro in Singapore. On my feet, I'm wearing a pair of comfortable loafers with a rubber sole. These are in the summer walk style that has been made famous by Laurel Piana. These are by Skolix and Yanko, and they look great with different shades of brown. For my cologne today, I am choosing the Roberto Ugolini Rosso. It has a really nice airy with a little bit of spice, great for the summer months. If you wanna check out this fragrance or any of the other fragrances or pick up some accessories for your next trip, check out the Fort Belvedere shop below. Thank you.